Hello everybody, and if you're new to Nam with a backpack, welcome. After a couple of days in Jakarta, I jumped on a quick two hour flight to KL. I still wasn't back to full fitness, so what I decided to do is to book a hotel right at the airport. Question for you, how many airports are there in Kuala Lumpur? Unfortunately, there was just a slight mix up and the hotel I ended up booking was right the other side across town. These things happen. This is my new hotel room. It's very nice, actually. It's a weird shape. But this is very, very nice. I like it a lot. And in here we have got, oh, this is massive. Shower. Hair dryer. Wow. And this hotel is called U3. I've only ever had short layovers or a day or so, and I decided to stay for four days this time. So it was really nice to be able to get to see a little bit more of the city. So how do you fancy four days in Kuala Lumpur with me? Good morning. And now I'm going to go and get a bus to central for where my hostel is tonight so last time i was here in kl i bought myself a rapid card and i've just been in to top it up and found out it's still got eight ringgit on it so i put another 10 ringgit on and now that should be good for the bus so i've just got off the bus and I've made it to the MRT station. And by the looks of things, I'm going up there. You'd almost believe that I was a professional at this, wouldn't you? <laughs> I believe it's platform one I want. And this one here, number 15, that's the one I've got to get off at. Part of me can't even believe I've made it without going wrong. And I know I've probably just jinxed it by saying that. But I've got from A to B with no mishaps. Yay! And that's the one I want just there, NU Central. Oh, I've made it out of the station and I think my hostel was just down here. So my new hostel is right next to Central and it is called Tea Pods Calf. The backpackers so the following day I decided to get up and go and visit some of the places that I didn't get to visit last time I was in KL. So I got on the LRT which you can see from the hostel that I was staying at and I went as far as Pastel Seni to the mosque. The mosque is actually one of the oldest in all of Kuala Lumpur and it was built in 1909 and it is on the River of Life so beautiful well worth a visit oh wow this is just stunningly beautiful look at the murals all over the walls and then the mosque wow In the distance there, you can see the Petronas Towers and you can also see the tower as well. This is a good little vantage point to see it all. I it to the square and I'm so glad that I did. This is beautiful but boy is it lemon off. And right now I'm going to get right out of this sun because it's way way too hot. This is my dim sun, just steaming for two minutes, it, the vegetable one. I am so happy I found somewhere that's done me a salad. Yesterday I walked past this little shop and saw that they did a coconut coffee smoothie. Oh my word, let's have a go at this. 
It has been raining all morning. Who ordered the rain? Because I didn't. Have you any idea where I am today? Last time I was here was actually over a year ago. Shall I show you? Did you guess? I thought, seeing as I'm here for four days, I can't come all the way and not come back here. So I've just been walking around the shopping mall. I'm going to do a bit of a 360 for you and show you exactly what I'm looking at. So, so there is a kind of growing building and then we have the stunning towers. I'm right underneath them. So it's really hard to get a shot of them. And then over here, you can just see it peeking through is the tower. And then there's the garden. When I was here last time, I didn't get a photograph because I was swamped by people and I got a little bit scared. They're all like, Madame, Madame, I take your photograph. And I'm like, no, I'm frightened. So now I'll be like, no, I take my photo. <laughs> Now I'm gonna head on over to the tower, I think, because I've not been there before. Well, I walked in the end. I didn't find a train station, but it's a lot further than I thought. I'm exhausted. I think it's a lot taller than the one in New Zealand that I jumped off. And don't worry, I have no intention of jumping off it. <laughs> Come on, let's go up and see what the view's like on a cloudy day. Right, okay, it looks like there's a free shuttle bus and my legs are exhausted, so. Let's give that a go. Now, I've got to go and find my ticket. Hi. A ticket for one? This one is the very popular, the very top one. Okay. Look at the ticket. Number five. Uh, below one minute. Below one minute, okay. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. My ears are popping. <laughs> and it tells you how high up you're going. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's worse than going up in a plane. Hello. Hello. Okay. okay, enjoy your view. Thank you. And we're in. <laughs> Do you want to have a look? Do you? It's a little windy out here. Wow, look at that. Goodness gracious me. Well, even though it's a cloudy day, this view is spectacular. Look at that. Oh, I hope I'm getting this for you because this is amazing. It must be spectacular on a really clear day. But I'm glad I've done it anyway. Right, okay, slight confusion. So out here, I don't know if you can see that there is a little glass area that you can go and stand on. So, so that is a different ticket. You've got to pay 10 ringgit extra to go and stand out there and have your photograph taken, which on a day like this, mm, And by the looks of it, you can jump off. But not today. It's fine. That's it. Time to go back down. The time is coming that I need to go back and start packing my bags. I've had a lovely day. My legs are killing me. After a full day, I arrived back at my hostel. There are actually two entrances that one or you can walk through the cafe as well here up the stairs through the door to the elevator and that's the other entrance where you can come in I'm on floor three okay 
this is my little pass. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get it all in. It's small. It's got a mural, fan, mirror, bedside table. I'm just packing at the moment, so everything's a bit everywhere. There's my backpack, all ready for tomorrow. Some hooks on the back of the door. And these are the controls for the fan. Yeah, it's been nice. And the location is brilliant because it's right by the central station there. So yeah, I don't have any complaints. Well, maybe one, just the fact that my little pod has no windows. I've enjoyed staying here four nights in total and I will put the price in here. Good morning, everybody. It is about 6 a.m and I'm going to go and get the train and head over to the airport to catch my train to Lankawi. And now, off to the train station. It's quite eerie being in the shopping centre as the only person. But I'm thankful that it's only a short distance from the hostel that I was staying in to the train station. So now I've just got to find the right train. Okay, so I topped up my card yesterday by 60 ringgit and now it's not working. This is not happening to me. So the guy who was taking the cards off of you and tapping them on the right place <laughs> was tapping my card on the wrong place. I took it to the office and I said, oh no, my card's not working. He said, yes it is, you've got enough money on there. <laughs> but it's like, you're tapping on the wrong machine. Oh, it's too early for this made it to the train so this train goes directly from central to terminal one then to terminal two hopefully arrived back at the airport after a really nice four day stay in KL but now I'm looking forward they're headed to Blancawi okay so today for the first time in all of my travel since I started back in 22, there was somebody at the security weighing bags. So luckily I had paid for the extra luggage. So I turned up and he turned around and says, you know the luggage when you pay for the extra is seven kilo and seven kilo, not one larger and one smaller. Both have to be seven kilos each which no I didn't realize but I do now and I said so because my main bag was 11 kilos and I says to him so what is it that I'm supposed to do now he went just go through I'm like okay thank you <laughs> I'm back in Langkawi a very happy bunny right here. 